Hey, this is Major General Evans from the United States Army Cadet Command. And I wanted to spend just a couple of minutes today talking about the impacts of the recent corona outbreak, particularly with regards to how it's gonna impact our cadets and our cadre within Cadet Command. I can tell you that the most important thing that we are doing right now at the Army senior leader level is making sure that the health, welfare, and safety of our soldiers, our cadets, our cadre, our civilians, and our contractors is utmost in our mind. As we take a look at what's coming up in the coming months, many of you already know that you're not in class right now. You're receiving instruction via virtual means or through distance education. You're working on completing your degrees and hopefully you're still working on that content that you can control at your level uh, with regards to ROTC. We're gonna ask you to continue to do that. Continue to study, continue to work towards your degrees so that you can graduate on time if you're an MS4 and you're in your senior year. With regards to what we're doing for you, those of you who are supposed to commission this year, we're looking to commission you on time if you're on the normal path to commissioning. We will find a way within the authorities that I have or that reside with the Secretary of the Army to try to waive any requirements that you don't get finished as an MS-4 so that we can commission you on time this summer and have you prepared to ship to Bolick as soon as it is appropriate within the Army confines of how we are restricting travel right now. This is important. You need to continue to stay fit and stay ready. Now let me talk to my younger cadets, particularly for our juniors who would be coming to advance camp this summer. We are working right now to determine how we will execute advance camp. The current restriction on movement means that we cannot execute advance camp as we currently have it planned. Right now, by the time we were able to get the team here, the RFF ready to execute camp, we're gonna be well into June before we can invite cadets here. Because of that, what we may see is a truncation of the advanced camp curriculum. We may see larger than normal regiments. We may see some groups of cadets being given credit for advanced camp, while others will ask to continue to come to advanced camp. We're working through all of these possibilities right now. What I will tell you with absolute certainty is that no cadet will be disadvantaged based on their ability to attend or not attend advanced camp. If we have to truncate the curriculum or we have to tone things down, you will not be disadvantaged by that. So as we go into the OML and we start to set out your order of merit score, you won't be disadvantaged by virtue of things that you can't control with regards to advance camp or your preparation to be at advance camp. For our lateral entry students, we're also working on options for how we will conduct basic camp this year. I would ask you to please stay patient, tie in with your cadre. For our cadre that's out there, hardworking, continue to do the things that you're doing, work with our civilians, our contractors, Continue to listen to the instructions you're receiving from your academic institutions with regards to conducting classes and gathering in groups that might go against current guidance. I'm asking everyone to be patient as we fight our way through this. These are unprecedented times. None of us has ever faced anything like this before, but together we will come through this with no problems. I'm counting on you to do your part. We'll make sure we do our part. Leadership excellence.